Happy New Year. It's not quite New Year's. Day before New Year's Eve. So it's New Year's Eve Eve. Today's a good car day. This is old blue. Blue's a 99 E150. It's only got 76,000 miles. It's 20 years old. So, the big issue. It's been a project. Uh, I've got almost two years in on it now. One of the major issues, which you really wouldn't think would be a major issue, but no windshield wipers. Now, if you think about that, no windshield wipers is a big deal. So, first thing I did was change out the uh, windshield wiper motor. Actually, I pulled the windshield wiper motor first, which, as I'm already so far past all that, it's in here, trust me. Uh, at one point, uh, I was told make sure it's got a ground, so I hooked up this ground wire. And it does not. The uh, actual wiper motor itself is not grounded to the frame anywhere. Um, one of the videos on eBay, eBay, yeah. YouTube talks about uh, making sure it's grounded. Tried that. I ran a ground wire right over to the battery and made sure it's grounded. Um, Unfortunately, in order to check the electrical plug, you have to take the three mounting bolts out of it, which requires taking this, you pull the trim, you take these little screws out here and there and there, and pop that up. Of course, you have to take the windshield wiper arms off. It's no big deal. Somewhere, I'm sure somebody shows you how to do that on there, on this YouTube thing. Um, once you pull that plug, and I check my voltage as I turn the key on and I have 12 volts at one of the pins. I can't remember which one, but only one pin. Uh, turning the uh, control through interval and or on and high and low makes no difference. I get no voltage. So I pulled the motor, told, took the motor apart because um, that's just kind of how I am. And uh, one of the brushes came out in pieces. So I figured, okay, it's a good shot there. Maybe that's what it is. Put a new motor in it. Nada. So, next thing up is the multifunction switch, as they call it, or the turn signal arm, or whatever you want to call it. Multifunction switch, they call it, this guy. Probably nothing wrong with mine. Um, there's video in there that tells you how to take this crap off of here, and it's got a plug on the end of it, and you change that. Change that out. New motor. New one of these. Uh, the whole time, the washer worked. Once your washers worked, which is uh, another little pump somewhere in there. Nada. Still doesn't work. So I knew there was a third component, but for whatever reason, it's 99E150. If you pull it up into like advanced auto parts, uh, Napa, any of them guys, AutoZone, they really, it's, I got different things. One of them said it had a little relay, one of them said it had this uh, fancy thing. Yeah, this is professional. I can't remember what they called it. It was uh, $420. I called the Ford dealership because I wasn't getting a solid answer on what the heck this thing had, where it was, whatever. So I had so many other things I was doing on it and it just kind of fell behind. I got it, put it on the road. I got some Rain-X for the windshield the other day and Rain-X'd it because I haven't been getting anywhere with this. And then um, I turn the wipers on again, and when I go to low from interval, I heard a click. Something clicking. Well, that's a good place to start. So I started poking around and listening to where the click was, and I located the click and found um, what I do with it. This box. And I'll show you where that goes. This little gizmo. Interval wiper relay. Ah, oh, my goodness. Well, that's going to have to hold on for a minute because, ah, it works calling. All right, so where was I? So this little box. $420 new. I think there are, eBay has oodles of them. They're, uh, I forget, $20 or something. Where is it? It's not hanging there. It goes up on a little dealy. So you gotta pull the. Hold on, let me move my lemon drop here. Oh dear. I love Fords. 
tell you how much I love Fords. Very professional, huh? All right, there we go. Got the cover back. It actually goes right here. This is a big plug hooked into it. And there is a bracket. It's hard to, hard to see it, not in the light. There it is. There's these two prong things. And it actually goes up. It's on those prong things and pops right up in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's where it goes. And crap. All right. Magically, my washers now aren't really working much, but watch the magic. You ready for the magic? Magic. <laughs> magic. So all I had to replace the motor, the multifunction switch, and then I got to that component. Good tunes, though. See how that interval is. Boy, that's a really long interval. Wow. But the interval's working. Windshield wiper interval control or something they call it. So, windshield wiper solved problem and now my stinking uh, washer is not working properly. They worked fine before. So I got to dig back into that and figure it out. But if you are struggling and you've replaced your motor and or multi-function switch and you still ain't figured it out and it still isn't working, there you go. It's stinking component in there. Damn kids and their music. I hope this helps. My journey on the road to fixing this Ford continues. All right, see ya.